So the Quran is saying, obey the Bible. But the Bible says, nope, no more revelation. It's done. A friend of mine recently told me that uh, Islam is like a basically a complete version of Christianity and Judaism. Where like he said, like Quran contains uh, both uh, Judaism and Christianity. How would you respond to that? He said that Islam and Christianity, or Islam and Judaism, are what now? Say that again. Get a little closer to the mic if you could. Uh, Islam uh, is the complete version of. Uh, Christianity and Judaism, where like a Quran contains both uh, in one book. I would first ask, what do you mean by that? And then how'd you come to that conclusion? Just those two questions, because again, he has to support, first of all, he has to clarify and then support what he says. Um, and he's probably a Muslim who's trying to say that Islam is the final revelation to mankind. And I would ask him for evidence of that. Why do you think Islam is the final revelation to mankind? In fact, you can even use the Quran to point out that it's not. Because in the Quran, chapter 5, verse 68, and in other places, uh, Surah 5, 68, it's a chapter, it says, O ye people of the book, who are the people of the book? Christians and the Jews. You have no ground to stand on unless you stand on the law and the gospels. In other words, the Quran tells Christians and Jews to obey the Old Testament and the New Testament, the law and the gospels. Now, if we go back to the Old Testament and the New Testament, it leaves no room for the Quran. So the Quran is saying, obey the Bible. But the Bible says, nope. No more revelation. It's done. So if the Quran is saying obey the Bible, then the Quran is false. Or uh, Islam is false, I should say, right? If the Quran is telling Christians and Jews to obey the Bible, and as Muslims will say, it's been corrupted, the Quran is also false. In other words, it's called the Quranic dilemma. Whether you obey the Bible or not, the Quran must be false. Because if the Bible's true, the Quran is false. If the Bible's false, the Quran is telling you to obey a false document. So it's false both ways, at least in that point. Now, my friend David Wood, who's a brilliant apologist to Muslims, in fact, he helped bring Nabil Qureshi to faith. I don't know if you've ever heard that name, Seeking Allah, Finding Jesus. If you go to his website, Acts 17 Apologetics, and type in the Quranic Dilemma, you will see a seven-minute video on this that I think is pretty airtight. So you might want to show him that video if he's open to it. You might want to ask him, if Christianity were true, would you become a Christian? Or if Jesus rose from the dead to prove he was God, would you follow him? See what he says.